What's up guys, Mr. Who's the Boss here, and this should be a pretty fun video. So today we're taking a look at what is on my Android phone in April 2017. Let's get started. Okay, so the phone I'm using is the Google Pixel XL. I love the software stock Android, and I also love the fact that everything is automatically synced with Google Photos. You'll notice it looks a tad bit customized, and that's because we've got a toast skin on it. So this is just like a dbrand or a slick wraps, except it's made entirely out of wood. Anyways, getting on to what is actually on the phone, Wow, okay, so there's a lot to take in here. So I've spent something like 45 minutes choosing this wallpaper. You'd be surprised how important it is. This setup would not work if it weren't for the wallpaper. There's a few things I considered. First of all, I wanted something with a deep color so the whites on top would stand out. I wanted something which had a bit of texture so it wasn't boring. And I also wanted something which didn't have too much going on because then that would distract from the cleanliness of the setup. So right at the top of the home screen, we've got a Zupa widget, which for those of you who've been following me for any length of time, will come to know has become my all time favorite widget. It's from the Trident pack, which has a pretty vast amount of minimalistic widgets. So just below that, we've got the minimal clock widget. I love the sharp lines and the really clean font. And just below that, we've got a Zupa widget with the Unity pack. And I think it's a really cool widget. It's clean, it's minimalistic, but it also contains a lot of information. So clearly this is not the most efficient setup. I mean, I've got three different widgets telling me the time and date, but at the same time, I mean, part of this is definitely aesthetic. So in terms of icons, we're using Ycons, which are great to look at, but they do pose a few problems. The fact that the icons are entirely white does mean that you have to be very careful selecting your wallpaper, and also it makes it a little bit harder to spot your applications. When you're scrolling through your app drawer, for example, you're used to recognizing things by color, so all of a sudden you have to adjust to not being able to look at that. And just tweaking one of the icons slightly, your sort of centralized main icon, actually adds a really nice twist to the setup. So another thing I definitely recommend doing is to remove the labels on your folders. Starting from the right to the left, we've got our testing folder, the kind of folder where I will test new applications, test new games before actually showing them on my channel. And I've got a few that I'm playing right now. I've got uh, Slash Arena, which is kind of in early access right now. Give it a go. You just kind of walk around in an online arena and knock people out. And then we've got Shadowmatic, and this is a great, great puzzle game. And that's coming from someone who doesn't really like puzzle games. So the idea is, is that there's a light and then an object, and you've got to try and manipulate the object so that the shadow of the object on the wall looks like a certain figure. We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, we've even got Google Allo, which to be honest, I've used about twice when it initially released and never since. So then we've got services, and this is pretty cool. So not too long ago, I installed three Hue lamps into my room, and I've also set it up so you can do it with Google Voice. So literally without getting out of bed, you can change the entire atmosphere of your room. And then we have a folder dedicated to photos. And I mean, yes, I do have better cameras, but to be honest, the convenience of the phone and the fact that the Pixel XL has such a good camera means that most of the photos you see on my Twitter and my Instagram are taken by this guy. I've started playing around with an application called Matisse, which when I first downloaded it, I kind of thought was a rip off of Prisma, but it renders files much faster and also has a couple of filters of its own which Prisma doesn't have. So then just on the left we've got a folder dedicated to music. Now to be honest, ever since I got Spotify Premium, which was about a year ago, I've not used a traditional music player on Android. I mean, I just don't need them. Clearly you don't get quite as good a music quality when you're streaming as opposed to when they're downloaded, but on most headphones that you can really support with a mobile phone, you can't really tell the difference anyway, and the convenience is crazy. So just quickly flicking over to the second page, this hasn't really changed since my last setup. We've got a widget there which is called the month widget. It's probably the cleanest, best calendar widget I've used on Android. We've then got two one-way Zupa widgets, and yeah, I mean, this page altogether just looks really clean. So guys, that is my Android phone, and I hope you find that useful when it comes to customizing your own. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That would genuinely really helped me out. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out. Ooh.